still got him. That's a big crab. Huge crab. <laughs> <laughs> so these look pretty good, right? <laughs> so we're at the Ilwaco jetty today, and it's a gorgeous day out. Hit a bunch of green lights on the way here. The wind is lower than the forecast. I think it's gonna be a good day. The limit here is 12 crab. I've never hit that before, but maybe today, you never know. So when we come out crabbing, just use nothing fancy. It's a uh, pen fierce two. 8,000 reel and an ugly stick surf rod. It's 12 feet, it's big, it's tough, and it's fiberglass, which is better than the graphite rods. For me, I'm kind of tough on things, so I can just shove this in the rocks and no worries about it getting scratched up and breaking. Toss it around, it's all good. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, first pull of the day, it feels huge. gonna be a monster. Six inches, he's a keeper. He's pretty big. Six and a quarter. Nice. That's pretty heavy. Come on. Oh, there's two. Oh, they both came off. <laughs> Feels heavy. Yep, there is one on. That's pretty heavy. He's six inches. But he's pretty soft, so we're gonna toss him back.
female. over six inches. Definitely a keeper. The female. <laughs> Shit, like, this is a seven inch crab. <laughs> Got both his pinchers. Wow. This guy's nice. Very nice. <laughs> There's so many crab in there. They're popping open the cooler trying to escape. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> All right, ended up with 10 really nice Dungeness crab from the Ilwaco Jetty. I'm gonna boil them up and make some real crab California rolls. Grab his little wiener and you rip it off. And then we're gonna pull his carapace off. All that nasty stuff in there. Gills. Mandible. Now we'll just crack him. This is everything you need to make real crab California rolls and I'm going to put a list of all these ingredients in the description. But first component is the unagi sauce and that's what I drizzle on top. It's a sweet sauce and I've got some cornstarch, soy sauce, mirin, and white sugar. And then to make the rice seasoning, I use the sugar, the seasoned rice vinegar. You don't want the brewed rice vinegar or the rice vinegar for salads. Uh, look for the seasoned rice vinegar. And then I've got some salt, 
And then to make the filling, we have our fresh caught Dungeness crab. These are all the legs right here. They're super, super delicious and huge. Um, and then I've got some the Q pie mayo. You can use regular mayo if you don't have any of the Q pie. And I've got cucumber, avocados, sesame seeds, and some nori. And then of course we've got rice in the rice cooker. So I make all of my rice in a rice cooker because it's a pretty foolproof way to get perfect rice every single time. And the really great thing about this one, the Zojirushi rice cooker, is that I can put my rice in in the morning and then set the timer on it and it'll start itself automatically and be ready at a precise time later in the day when I need it. So I'm going to make the rice seasoning and for two cups of rice, I would usually make it with three tablespoons of sugar. five tablespoons of the seasoned rice vinegar, and one teaspoon of salt. And the goal here is just to dissolve it. You don't need to get it to boil or anything. You just want the sugars to dissolve in the liquids. So this was about two cups of uncooked um, short grain white rice. And I'm just gonna put it in this casserole dish to help it cool down to room temperature quicker. But while it's still warm, I'm going to add the rice seasoning I'm not going to add all of it at once. I'm going to taste it and see if I like it. And if I don't, I'll add more. While the rice is cooling to room temperature, I'm going to make the unagi sauce. And it's just a sweet sauce that you drizzle on top of your roll. And it's just equal parts sugar, mirin, and soy sauce. And so you can really use any measurement. I'm using a third of a cup. And then I also add a little bit of cornstarch to help it thicken up. And I'm just gonna cook this on a low simmer until it thickens up. So to make the filling, first uh, part that I usually do is the cucumber, and so you peel it. And I'm going to take all of the seeds out. An easy way to do that is with a spoon. Okay, and then you want to cut it into maybe a quarter to an eighth of an inch matchstick slices so that there's a little bit of crunch so that it's not too big. So we've got our avocado. It's a decent one.
So we've got our crab legs and I'm just going to shred them up a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mayo, just enough to bind the crab together. You don't want it to be so much that it's overpowering because you really want the flavor of the crab to come through, but just a little bit. So to keep the maki su, the sushi mat clean, I always wrap it in saran wrap. So now that our rice is cooled to room temperature, we can make our rolls. And with the nori, I like to fold a little bit of it off to make my rolls more manageable. And I usually put the rice on the rough side. So to prevent your rice from sticking to your fingers, I like to dip them in water. And I sprinkle it with sesame seeds, flip it over, and then we're going to add our fillings. And I'm going to put a lot of crab in this. It looks fine. I don't know. Avocado and our cucumber. This is going to be really tasty. And then we just roll it up. Give it a little squeeze. Not bad. So the same thing to keep the rice from sticking to the knife. I dip it in water too when I'm cutting. It really helps if you have a really sharp knife. This will be much less frustrating than if you try to do it with a dull knife. Give it a little squeeze again. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And then we're going to plate it up. <laughs> so these look pretty good, right? <laughs> I think they're going to be super tasty. I am so excited about this. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the unagi sauce over them. Okay, let's try one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> the crab is delicious.